Hi, this is Isabel Litzer. So today's video is about uh, something that you may have heard about but not sure. It's called the informational interview. So I'll explain what it means and how you can use that as a way to leverage your job search. So for those of you who worked maybe with our placement agencies in the past, you probably know what it means. And otherwise, I'll explain the concept. So the first thing to know about the informational interview is that it's usually something that happens when you're networking. So the way it happens typically is that you meet somebody, uh, you exchange business cards, and that's what I will do with my events in Geneva, the uh, mesh and match night. The idea is really for people to exchange cards. This is really where it starts. It's an exchange of business cards or a connection on LinkedIn. Then you have the person in your network. Then the idea is to follow up with this person after a little while and try to get them on the phone or you know, try to get a connection with this person which will probably produce what is called an informational interview. And these interviews are quite different than the standard interview. In the standard interview, you are talking about selling yourself for a specific job that exists. With the informational interview, you're just there to learn more about the individual and to, to go a little bit more in depth in your contact. So for example, if you meet someone in a networking event, I'll give you an example that happened to me recently. You meet someone during an event, you think, wow, this person is really interesting. We do the same job or something similar. I would love to stay in touch. You exchange contacts. Uh, and then after that, you exchange by email. Typically, you would produce value for this person to show that you're not there just for yourself. So let's say I'll give you the example. You meet someone that's a marketing a specialist for um, fast moving goods. You know, we'll just, or for chocolate, let's say Nestle. I think that will be more interesting as an example. So let's say you work, you meet someone that's doing marketing for Nestle and uh, you want to stay in touch with this person. So they give you a business card. A uh, person will be happy to give their business card then. Okay, now you need to stay in touch. So what will happen is that maybe you send an email to the individual saying, I really enjoyed meeting you. By the way, I checked your work or I checked your website and this is what I saw. Uh, it's really interesting, you know, um, this is my feedback on your project or something that's linked to maybe something you talked about during uh, the meeting, the first meeting. Then the person sees the value that you're bringing to them. Typically, if they play the network game, which uh, means that they reciprocate, they will probably say yes, you know, and I think your uh, experience is interesting and so forth. And then the idea is to schedule something. So uh, that one or the other will offer to have a meetup, whether it's a coffee or uh, could be going to an event together. Anyway, there's a second step. And during this second step, this is where the informational interview happens. So you're not really there to sell yourself directly to this person because you know they don't have a job for you, but you're there to, uh, to have this person becoming your advocate, basically. So in other words, let's say you meet this marketing manager from Nestle and uh, you have a coffee, imagine. So during the coffee, you will say what you did and uh, why you think that uh, you would love to work, let's say, in the, in the industry, you know, chocolate making and so forth. And person is really interested also and you will stay in touch, shake hands. And then the idea that this person knows you a little bit more and they'll keep you in mind should there be some type of opportunity that pops up or, you know, they know you a little bit more. So you're more than just a business card, you know, they actually took the time to meet you, they know who you are, they know what value you can bring to an organization. So if they hear of something in their network, and that could be actually six months later, that's the thing with the informational interview. You don't necessarily need uh, to get an immediate action. But these informational interviews will lead you at some point to some results. So if you go, let's say, to one or two per week, uh, chances are at some point someone will hear something after they meet you and be able to connect with you. And this will give you the exposure to the actual interview with a recruiter faster than going through the job board process where you know the chances are quite limited and you have to, it's, it's more an elimination process than anything else. So uh, that's why I usually discourage people to go with job boards unless they really have a specific profile. But the informational interview is really the power of connecting with individuals that can become your advocates out there. And when they hear of something through the grapevine, they will connect with you and you'll know before everybody else. So if you meet with a few of those informational contacts, um, let's say you meet with 10 uh, throughout a region and they're in the industries that you, you want to work in, you probably covered your basis. You have those advocates out there that are your ears and your eyes and uh, most of the 
time, they will reply to you and say, hey, you know, I just heard this morning, so and so is leaving, why don't you send your resume? So this is how you will get a little bit more attention. So really the informational interview, uh, the steps to remind you in this video quickly is to go to events, to be exposed to these people and to exchange business cards. You know, remember my events that I will have where you can meet with like-minded people, that's where it starts. Then the second thing is to pursue via a, uh, a request for lunch or coffee, whatever you feel comfortable with. I mean, some people, you just want to have coffee. Uh, some people, you feel you're really connected and you have so much to talk about. Maybe you want to have lunch. If you're in the same industry, you have the same experience and you have so much you can share. Maybe you want to have lunch. Uh, I leave it up to you, whatever that meeting is. It doesn't really matter. But the idea is to follow up with this type of event. And then once you do this repeatedly, again, regularly, repeatedly, you will see that you get some results, some very practical results. But again, this strategy is really for people who live in Switzerland because it's going to be tougher to do this when you're not on site. Again, uh, if you're abroad, uh, you know, having the contacts is going to be more difficult. Uh, you need to spend the time to actually meet people. Uh, what I usually suggest to expats who want to come to Switzerland is to invest in traveling regularly at least going to conventions and uh, trainings and things like that, workshops where they can meet in person. At least they start somewhere and then they can always have the informational interview a little bit uh, on Skype or something like that. So that's for the informational interview. Did you know that uh, it existed? Did you know of this uh, strategy of informational interview? If so, you can comment below. I'd be happy to hear your feedback. Uh, how do you feel about doing this kind of process to look for a job? Uh, do you feel comfortable? Do you feel like you need more information? I'll let you tell me. Thanks.